Welcome back again to our today's session. And as I said earlier that we, 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 are, we are doing a session in six minutes. That is why we are having a break in every, in every session. Now, in today's class, we are going to look at the evils condemned by Prophet Jeremiah. In the previous lesson, we did introduce the evils and we did say we had the first evil condemned was necromancy, deception and dishonesty. Now today class, we are going to state more evils that were condemned by Prophet Jeremiah. The station you're watching is LMU TV, your favorite learning channel. And your teacher is Roger Nishira. Welcome all and let us learn. Now class, what do we expect by the end of the lesson? We do expect that we are able to discuss the evils that are condemned by Prophet Jeremiah. Now, the first evil condemned uh, for today is false prophecy by Hananiah, right? False prophecy by Hananiah. So that's our third, that's our third uh, evil. That is uh, when, when we get to connect back to our previous lesson. Now, during the, the reign of King Zedekiah, <clears throat> during the reign of uh, King Zedekiah, Hananiah broke the yoke that Jeremiah was wearing. Remember, Jeremiah walked uh, around uh, all along carrying a yoke, right? Telling the people of the evils they have committed, telling them about repentance, right? Telling them about punishment. Now Jeremiah, uh, Jeremiah was carrying a yoke. Now Hananiah broke the yoke that Jeremiah was carrying, right? Now Hananiah started speaking in the name of Yahweh, right? Hananiah started speaking the name of Yahweh, and now and, and now we get to see that Hananiah started giving them false prophecy, and like what Jeremiah was doing. Hananiah was a count, a, 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 count, a count of prophet whereby he gave them false prophecy. Can get, let us get to see Hananiah carrying that. Uh, you can get to see that. That's Hananiah. That's, that, that's Jeremiah. That's Jeremiah carrying the yoke, right? And that is, and that is Hananiah now. Hananiah, you can see, breaking the yoke. Hananiah breaking the yoke, right? And now he, start, he started giving false prophecy. Now he led the people as he spoke from the uh, imagination and the dreams, right? Jeremiah denounced Hananiah. He predicted the prophecies, the death of Hananiah. You see that? Now, he spoke from his imagination. Good. He predicted and prophesied the, the death of Hananiah in the same year, and it came to pass. Now, Jeremiah, when Hananiah broke the yoke and started giving false, um, uh, false prophecy, from his imagination, still prophet Jeremiah predicted and prophesied the death of Hananiah and it came to pass, Hananiah died the same year. Good? Can you look at what are the, some of the reasons why Jeremiah condemned false prophecy? One, they gave false uh, hopes to people, good, and also they had filled the people of Israel with unrealistic hopes of peace, yet Judah was ripe for destru for destruction, let us go back to Prophet Amos. In the vision of ripe um, a basket of fruits, right? It was ripe for destruction. Now look at uh, Nehemiah. The, the false prophets are now giving false prophecies, unrealistic hopes of peace, of prosperity. But again, the real sense, Judah was ready to be destroyed. Let us look at the fourth. Uh, Evil, it was the evil of idolatry. What is idolatry? This is the worship of many gods. Idols are images made by people for worship. Now we are worshipping men, you are, so meaning you are worshipping God alongside other gods. Let us look at that. We have our image there. Good. Look at that. Look at that. Now they are worshipping, right? You can see that golden calf on the top of uh, the altar there, right? You can see that. Good. The people of Israel were worshipping Baal, the queen of heaven, sun, moon, stars, and also Yahweh. Hey, look at that. Look at Baal now. That is Baal. You can see it on your screen. And people are worshipping, raising up their hands. Right? They have the trumpets blowing them. Good. Now, idols were placed strategically. Right? In Yahweh's place of worship. Hey. Right? The temple was unclean. 
and Jeremiah condemned it. Why was Jeremiah condemning idolatry? One, idolatry, idolatry is like adultery. How 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 is I, how is idolatry likened to adultery and prostitution? It defiled people and was a sign of lack of faith in Yahweh. Right? It is like I, uh, adultery and prostitution. It defiled people and was a sign of lack of faith in Yahweh. It also defiled the land. Idolatry led to divine judgment and punishment. And lastly, by worshipping idols, Judah broke the covenant and their relationship with God. And unless the people of Judah repented, they will be punished. That is, those are some of the reasons why Jeremiah condemned idolatry. Now, as always, after every lesson, we always have an assignment for us. Can you get to state the reasons why Jeremiah condemned false prophecy? Why Jeremiah condemned false prophecy? And this was Elim TV, your favorite learning channel. Get in contact with us via contact address. We have our SMS line on our screen. Watch our videos, Elimu TV on YouTube, on uh, Facebook, you can get in touch with us, Elimu TV. Then Twitter, you can send your feedback at Elimu TV underscore Kenya. Thank you so much. And your teacher was Roger Mishira.